So my name is Leonie de Jonge. I'm an MPhil student in international relations and politics. I'm from Luxembourg and that is also one of the case studies that I'm studying. So what I'm interested in is right-wing populist parties and um, why they have been so successful recently in some European countries but not in others. Um, right-wing populist parties really generally are parties that um, are uh, radical in the sense that they're anti-establishment, they are um, uh, they reject certain features of liberal democracy, certain like minority rights, for instance. Um, they are also populist in the sense that they um, their, their their style they, the politicians use they um, is that they ally themselves with the people and against the elites. They break taboos. They try to um, say what vo voters want to hear. So we've seen these parties come up in a lot of European countries, and I'm interested in why. Um, so why in some and not in others? And the, the case studies I'm looking at are Switzerland and Luxembourg, because these two countries have um, similar background variables. Both countries um, are very affluent, multilingual, have very high immigration and low unemployment. Um, they're both quite small. And um, yeah, so uh, Switzerland has a really, really big right-wing populist party. Uh, they're the largest populist party, uh, the largest party in uh, yeah, in, in mainstream politics in Switzerland, but Luxembourg doesn't, hasn't really seen this, even though immigration is really high. Um, so I'm looking at different, uh, different possibilities why this could be. So I've received funding from Pembroke College to uh, visit the national libraries of both countries. Um, so that was a great opportunity. I was able to travel there and look at um, the um, election material of the parties that I'm studying. So I was able to, to look at election posters, pamphlets, um, all sorts of publications. It was actually quite interesting. So basically, in the conclusion is that it, it looks like in Switzerland people are a lot more xenophobic than in Luxembourg, but that isn't the case. It's just the, the conditions of the political system that make it look that way.